In the insertion sort, we took an element out and we compared it to the things before it, right? And we said, is it smaller or is it bigger? There's a variation on the insertion sort called the shell sort. And the idea about the shell sort is that you want to take things from the extremities and try and swap them over. So if you have smaller numbers that are way on one end, larger numbers that are way at the beginning, you swap those initially and then you um, change the sort. So for example, the way the shell sort works is if we have a list of numbers, like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first number, the 7, and then I'm going to have a fixed width gap. And so my gap, in this case, is going to be three numbers. Okay. Now let's say four numbers. So then I take the 3. Then I take the 6 and the 2, the 8 and the 10, the 9 and the 5, and the 1 is on its own. Okay. The idea th is that I always have the same gap between these pairs of numbers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap, I'm going to sort just those pairs. So in this case, I would swap the 3 and the 7. And so the 3 is a smaller number, and it's over on the wrong end, so we try to move it closer. I'm going to swap the 2 and the 6. I'm going to leave the 8 and 10 where they are. I'm going to swap the 5 and the 9. And I'm going to leave the 1 where it is. Okay. Now what I do is I put those numbers back to together into my list. So my list now becomes three, two, eight, five, seven, six, ten, nine, one. Okay. So hopefully I've moved some of the smaller numbers from the right side to the left side. Now, in the first round, I took a gap of this length. And so in the second round, I take a gap of a half the length. So I start with a 3. And this time, I take a gap. Let's say I go to the 5. Okay. And so now I take the 2 to the 7, the 8 to the 6, the 10 to the 1, and the 9 on its own. Okay, so I've halved my gap size. I go through the same process. I don't have to swap the 3 and the 5. I don't have to swap the 2 and the 7. I swap the 6 and the 8. I swap the 1 and the 10. And I leave the 9 alone because it's a single element. Now I recreate my list. I put it back together. So it goes 3, 2, 6, Five, seven, eight, one, nine, and ten, and I do the same process again. Okay, so I halve my gap size. So let's have a gap of one. So we take the three and the six, the two and the five, the seven and the one, the eight and the nine, and the one and the ten. Okay, and now do I have to sort them? The three and the six are fine. The two and the five is fine. I'll swap the 1 and the 7. I'll leave the others. And so now, when I put them back together, somehow I've got two number 1s. Oh, I'll leave the 2 on its own. And now I do a half my gap size again. And so basically now my gap is 1. And I have a regular insertion sort. So I take an element, and I compare it to the thing before it. and in this case, I swap the 2 and the 3. Now I take the 6. I compare it to the thing before. It's already sorted. But when I take the 5, I would swap it. Now when I take the 1, I have to move it all the way to the front. Now when I take the 8, it's OK. Now when I take the 7, I'll swap it with the, the 7 and so on. OK? So the idea is that you start off with a large gap. You sort those things, 
Then you go for a smaller gap and sort those things, and you go for a smaller gap and sort those things, and a smaller gap, until you get to a gap size of one and do an insertion sort. And hopefully, as happened here, we moved the, the smaller elements from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, and we moved the larger elements from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So the shell sort is an interesting sorting algorithm. So in the worst case, in the worst case, the shell sort is basically an insertion sort. Right? So it approaches big O of n squared complexity. But actually, the, complex the average complexity of the shell sort depends, it depends on the gap. And so if you have different gap sizes, you can change the complexity of the sort because that changes how many comparisons you have to do. Depending on who you ask and depending on what the gap size is, the average complexity in the shell sort is either big O of n to the 5 over 4 or big N O of n to the 3 over 2. There's different answers depending on if you look. The shell sort is not stable because you're sorting all of those little pieces before you finally do the last sort. But it is in place.